Who do we have next? Sara, what can uh, I do for you? Thank you. Um, uh, I want to ask, is it permissible to draw simplified, you know, 2D characters for the purpose of creating children's book that, of course, teach good manner or the dean? Okay, um, we, we spoke about this, Sarah, yesterday. Were you there? Did you see yesterday's uh, episode? Is Sarah there or she's gone? Most likely she's... Uh, yes, yes, I'm here. Okay, did you, uh, did you see it yesterday? I was, I was there, but I... Um, no, I didn't, I didn't okay. see it. Okay, we said that drawing human character or living creatures is one of the major sins in Islam. And to make this Islamic and acceptable, some scholars, and I gave an example of Sheikh Muhammad ibn Salih al Uthaymeen, may Allah have mercy on his soul. Our Sheikh ibn Uthaymeen says, if the character in the 2D drawing is like a cellulite, has no life, and I gave an example of an ad where Zat TV usually puts before my program. So before this program of Ask Zad, there's an ad where it shows a man eating, a man um, scrolling down his mobile while driving. And it says that if we were to read the Quran, similarly to the amount of time we look at our mobiles, we wouldn't be in this phase and state at this moment. The Muslims would be in a better place. So the whole uh, infographic, the whole, uh, if it's correctly called infographic, the whole cartoon stuff, it has a 2D figure of a, a person, but it doesn't have any face features. No eyes, no nose, no mouth, just a pair of glasses, no eyes. So such character drawing is permissible because there's no life in it. It's like a cellulite. It's like a shade. And likewise, drawing a woman with abaya, nothing else, no features, no niqab. You just see something in black. Or a man with a helmet on his head, no facial, facial features. This is permissible, inshallah, and Allah knows best.